What is up YouTube and welcome back to my YouTube channel and if you guys did the title or looked at the thumbnail then you definitely know that in today's YouTube video I'll be doing a what's in my bullet journal just show you guys my bullet journal and May monthly favorites this is Lucia my best friend <laughs> um, so yeah I know I haven't filmed in a while, I've been super, super busy, but I was going to film a makeup look that I did on me and my friend Amanda for Comic Con, but I forgot. Um, yeah, my favorite Marvel show is Marvel's Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. It's really good. I suggest watching it. It's on Netflix. Yeah, so if you guys want to see this, make sure to keep on watching. But as always, before we get on with this YouTube video, make sure you guys are subscribed and turn post notifications on to be first notified when I upload a YouTube video. And without further ado, let's get on with the video. I'm going to be going, be going to show you guys my bullet journal. And a lot of this, almost all of it, is inspired by Amanda Rachel Lee. You guys should subscribe to her or have her youtube up on the screen and stuff i really really like her i take a lot of inspiration from her and she's one of my favorite youtubers who does a lot of calligraphy and tutorials for your bullet journal so if you guys watch her you'll see a lot of my stuff is inspired by her and i really really enjoy watching her my um bullet journal is from hyatt so on the cover i have a ron john surf job surf shop sticker and i just covered up because it says where it's from <laughs> <laughs> on the back i have some stickers stuff like that this one's my favorite i love her cutie so yeah this is my bullet journal i started this may march no march 14 2019 so the first page i have all my birthdays I covered them up because that's just personal information with the post-it, but it has the birthday header and all the months, just like January, Jan, May, September, stuff like that. Then on the next page, I did kind of swatches of the pens. So this is some of them. I use Tombow brush pens. I have a lot more other pens. I use Sharpies and stuff like that, but those are just some swatches of some. Next page, I have movies to watch to watch and dream log i haven't put in any dreams but i have put in some movies one of the movies i put was marvel's agents marvel avengers endgame and i did actually end up going to see that and then i have five feet apart which i didn't see but i'm hopefully gonna see in the future once it comes out on itunes and stuff like that but i never really felt the need to go see it in theaters but i did see marvel's endgame dream log i do have dreams i just don't write about them to be honest so next i have my daily doodle which honestly is one of my favorite pages so these are just some doodles that i have done and i think it's really cute and aesthetic personally for me to look at then i have a quote that says step by step and day by day and it's just decorated by a lot of random stuff i really just like doing some random calligraphy and stuff like that and just test different things then i get to my march page which is this is my march i have a mini calendar right here it says march and it was just kind of random i kind of don't pick a theme when i started out i just didn't pick a theme for the whole month i just wanted to try and do everything and then it says expect nothing appreciate everything which is super super nice Next, I have my March calendar. This is what it looks like. I honestly just don't put anything in it. Um, when I started out, I just really liked the aestheticness of it, and I really, really liked it. So, next, I have a page for shapes. It's just kind of random, and then more random headers, little doodles, alarm clocks, stuff like that that's just really random that I just really enjoy writing and doodling in my free time. Then I have the monster of stationery, which was I would like to call it. Just basically like, as you can see, and then titles everywhere. Just random stuff that I like and enjoy writing, like titles and stuff. Next, I have my April month. Um, the quote is, what delivers us, what defines us. <laughs> 
What defines us is how well we rise after falling, and this theme was hot air balloons. So this is my April calendar for it. Yeah. And I wrote pretty cute. Then I have more title ideas that I really, really like if I ever wanted to write a title. Then I have, we did the Peter Pan play, and then I just wrote down all the characters from it and who played it and stuff like that. I was Michael, Wendy's little brother, the little baby boy, if anybody cares. Next is May, which one was one of my favorite ones. This was a butterfly. Um, so I wrote May. And then this is probably one of my favorite calendars. Honestly, I think this is just super, super cute. I wrote my star subtractor at the very beginning of the month. It's 327. Spring. And that's all I have in my bullet journal. I'm super, it's super happy boring. with it. Next up, we're going to be doing monthly favorites and makeup products that I really like and have been trying out and liked. And you haven't seen them since I haven't filmed in a while. So first, I'm going to do palettes. And this is a really, really good summer palette. This is the Mar ColourPop palette by ColourPop. Um, this is a really, really pretty summer palette. It's really nice to travel with. It has a mirror and everything. I love these shades to do a blue look, to do a natural look, and it's really, really pretty. And I love this palette, especially for summer. I adore it, and it's super, super cheap. ColourPop is a great brand for this type of stuff, and I really, really like it because now they're getting monochromonic, monochromo, like monochromatic, monochromatic. Um, where their palettes are all the same color, kind of like the Huda Beauty color ones, which I really enjoy, because if you're looking for a color, you can just get that palette. So it's super, super nice, but this is really nice, especially for summer. Then I have my actual favorite palette ever. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Soft Glam Palette. This just means so much to me. I love this palette so much. I love the packaging. It makes me feel so comfy, and it's just, I love everything about it. The packaging... I don't like how big this is, but it's fine. Um, I actually have hit pan on one of the shades, which is Dusty Rose, which is that shade. This palette is so, so good. I love this palette so much. It's just so good. I literally use it for every single look. Tempera is such a good base shade. The shades are so gorgeous. The shimmers are beautiful, and they're so they're all super, super pigmented. Next up, I have Too Faced Hangover RX Replenishing Face Primer, the full size. This stuff is so, so good. I have this spray. I love this spray so much. It's like coconut, and they're, they're both coconut, and they smell really, really good. But especially this, because this is super, super moisturizing, and it's a super, super, base, super, super good base for when you put concealer on. So your concealer, your matte concealer doesn't dry out and look very cakey. This is what you need to use. And this is so, so good. Um, next, I have another Too Faced product. This is the Too Faced Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer. This is a really good... What is that? Oh, here it is. <laughs> This is really, really good for carving out your brows using it. It's so, so good, and there's so much product in it. It is very expensive, but it's really, really good, and I de definitely recommend. Next, I'll show these products in one. So this is the Urban Decay Brow Blade Ink Stain and Waterproof Pencil. The ink stain is really good just to, like, do this and fill in your brow and have a very natural brow. And I can feel the same about the ink stain. This is so, so good. The idea to have, like, an ink stain to create those, like, brow hairs is just so nice. And it's super easy. I think anybody can use it, no matter what your skill set level is. Like, look at this. Like, it creates fine brow hairs, and it's super, super nice for just a natural, everyday look. Then I have the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. This is so, so good. My favorite mascara of all time. I used to have, I have the mini too. It's so, so good. The packaging makes it feel super luxurious and super, super nice. Next, I have my Cody Airspun face, loose face 
powder. This is the original formula. I love this stuff so much. I love the, it smells really good. Next, I have the Milk Makeup Watermelon Serum. This stuff is so, so good. Like, if I put it under my eyes, my rest of my face will be dry, and the rest of my eyes will be really, really nice. And it's super, super good. Just, like, a wake-up, and it feels really, really good and soothing under your eyes. Bye. Thank you, Thank you guys for watching. Bye. <laughs>